The following screencast will provide a demonstration of the Acknowledge Slew Rate Limiter feature. The Slew Rate Limiter is available both as an offline transformation and also an online calculation channel. The Slew Rate Limiter is an excellent tool for eliminating high frequency disturbances in an otherwise slow moving waveform. The limiter, the slew rate limiter, is designed in such a way that it will limit the amount of amplitude change that occurs within a user defined period. And the user can define the amplitude rate of change and the time period. I've got a file here which we will use for this particular demonstration. The top channel, the red one that we're looking at, is electrodermal activity and this is skin conductance level. And the bottom channel is the output from the stimulator and this is um, pairs of electrical stimuli that were presented to a subject and over time you can see the amplitude was increased and then over on the electrodermal channel the subject had the electrodes on their fingers recording the electrodermal activity the body was picking up or the electrodes were picking up this electrical signal as it was delivered to the subject and you can see the artifact mimicking the electrical stimulation as it was presented in order for us to analyze this signal we first need to eliminate these unwanted electrical artifacts. Now to do that you go to the transform menu and actually before we start I'm going to duplicate my waveform and I'm going to turn off the stimulation channel. So we've got two identical waveforms, one green one red and they're both showing the exact same signal. Now what I'm going to do is go to the transform menu and select slew rate limiter. I've actually created a setup here. The nice thing about this particular feature, once you've got everything dialed in, you can create a new preset and then the next time you come along and use it, you can just select that preset and run those exact settings over your file. Now the way the slew rate limiter works, it needs to know the time window that you're interested in. And I've got this one set up so that I'm looking at a four sample interval. We could do it based on time also, but it's just as easy in this case to use the sample interval. And this data was sampled at 30 samples a second. Down below, you have to determine your minimum and maximum allowable change in the signal. So because this is a slow moving signal, I'm going to leave the minimum change to zero. That means that within any four sample period, you can have no change in the signal. But then in, at the other end of the spectrum, the maximum allowed change, I'm setting at half a micro siemen within that four sample window. Okay, so now if we hit OK, we can see that we've almost entirely eliminated the spikes that we're seeing on the green channel. And we can further improve this by using another one of the tools in the transform menu. And this time I'm going to use smoothing and I'm going to increase the number of samples and hit OK. So now we've really cleaned this waveform up and if I adjust my vertical scaling so that it's identical for both of these channels I can overlap them and we can see that there's absolutely no distortion in the main waveform. So at this point we can now run our electrodermal analysis routine and we can analyze these responses. And that concludes this demonstration of the Acknowledge Slew Rate Limiter functionality.